Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Do you know anything about the brain? Nope. An establishing shot is usually an exterior image used to tell an audience where a scene is taking place. It's not something I've ever commented on before because it's usually used once or twice at the start. Not 11 times. In this case, there's also the issue that the exterior really doesn't match the interior it's establishing. Also, if you use it too often, you can create the impression that the telephone is in the pool. This is the brain machine, one of those downbeat 70s sci-fis steeped in paranoia about how the government and science are keeping tabs on us. Eternal surveillance is the price of liberty. The film opens with Dr. Krizner on the run, having stolen documents from his own project, with the law in pursuit. I'm gonna bag me a scientist. A cat and mouse game ensues. That's it, I'll paddle out of here. But he loses his evidence and decides to write to the authorities instead. Dear Senator, for Christmas this year, I would like... Krizner is killed, and the project continues under new management, who don't know they are being monitored. Dr. Morris? Kind of dumb, just my type. Dr. Roth? That machine has gone berserk. And Dr. Portland, who is seen here just arriving from her second job guarding Buckingham Palace. The experiment monitors four volunteers, who were presumably unaware their pictures were being taken, and involves psychological tests like word association. Woman. I'm sure he just misspoke. Woman. Right. What's the psychological term for this guy? Nuts. Possibly, but played by Jim Best of Killer Shrews fame. And you have to be a dedicated subscriber to have seen our review of that. Golly, this experiment is going to get an X rating. So, at times, this feels like a standard movie psychological experiment into... The truth, Reeves. Absolute accuracy. When like and cause us a lot of trouble. But at others, it feels more like a community theatre project. Why do they have to keep asking all those personal questions? Or possibly a focus group to create a better deck chair. This may look like a very simple device. However, that's not the case. You do start to wonder why these shadowy government types are monitoring this. Now, something is happening and it's not us. That's certainly the case for most of the film, and it's very unclear what this is. What the hell is going on, Rod? I don't know. Until we reach the final experiment, when the subjects and Dr. Portland are locked into the test area, and... It works! We've revolutionised leisure technology! Stuff starts to go wrong. <laughs> as the computer itself attacks them. The computers have total control. Basically, the computer has noticed that they're lying about stuff and refuses to go on with the experiment until they fess up, which is why the staff put such emphasis on telling the truth. What do you think, we are incompetent? Frankly, yes. You must have vetted these people in only the most cursory fashion because they are all harbouring terrible secrets. I killed my baby, and my daddy too. These are the worst possible people for this experiment. We made a mistake. To make matters worse, the computer finds that the human brain basically lies to itself all the time. No man, no human ever believes they're going to die. And just decides to kill them all by closing in the walls. Quite quickly in close-up... More! We can't stop it! We can! We've got to stop it! almost imperceptibly in long shot. Stop it! Stop it, Merriman! So slowly, in fact, that one of the subjects has time to hang herself quietly in a corner without anyone noticing. Oh, no. It's, it's 
scare down. Look at your truth. Look at your acting. We gotta stop it. Did that really need saying? They finally remember that there is an escape hatch and you probably need to see this to believe it. Oh, we should definitely have designed that to open from the inside. The shadowy government types cover up their deaths. And this just in, the National Environmental Control Center reports that Dr. Roland Roth, world famous authority on the human brain, was electrocuted along with six others when a patient broke from an experimental therapy area, ripped through a protective panel and exposed himself and the other victims to 500,000 volts of electricity. The machine works, that's the important thing. Would we say works? Make it work. So many problems with this. What problems? Above all, there aren't any characters to follow. I guess not. Let alone care about. You shouldn't feel a thing. And I didn't. Honestly, I was more invested in the deck chair than any of these people. Doesn't even look that comfortable. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For tongue in cheek horror with characters, check out my books. There's a link in the description below. What are your favourite movies in which experiments go wrong? Let us know in the comments below. Has it been worth it? Did you learn something?